Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Marion Ledesma. And I'm Paige Tobias. And you're watching VCTV. I'm Jalen and I'm Mariah and these are your morning announcements oh okay <laughs> seniors make sure you take care of all of your outstanding fees and service hours in, in order to get your grad tickets National Honor Society you guys have an SAS banquet tonight at 7 o'clock our show there's one today at break featuring student Ben Bing Yang so guys check that out um, juniors you guys have your speeches today in the chapel at lunch and voting tomorrow first period so make sure to vote for who you think suits the whatever <laughs> Senior trip tickets on sale till Friday during break and lunch in the high school office, so make sure you guys purchase that. Powder Puff, you guys have your first practice on the 23rd from 5.30 to 7 on the football field. AP Stats and Road students, please bring your textbooks to the bookstore for return or buybacks. Um, senior song rehearsal, if you guys want to participate in the senior song at graduation, please come to the band room at lunch today. If you're interested in girls' tennis for next year, make sure you come to the quick but important information meeting in room 11 at lunch today. Spanish to Honors, you guys have a mandatory meeting at lunch for upcoming students in room 4 to discuss your summer work and you need to attend this or you will be dropped. Help support grad night by wearing jeans tomorrow with a uniform polo. Tickets are $3 sold today at break and lunch and tomorrow morning. So if you want to go to grad night, you better help support that. Grad night tickets are available on um, the 24th and the 25th, and you, but you must turn in your code of conduct and release form in order to participate and get your ticket. We just want to take some time to honor the CIF finalists for track. So Maya Archer and Gavin Fool for shot put in discus. Discus. Keely Long, Cheyenne McKinney, Catherine Taminga, and Marion Ledesma are all in the 4x4, and Marion Ledesma is in the 800 as well. Joshua Kofi in the 100 and 200, and uh, Jake Lue on the discus, and Bailey Torres for 300 hurdles. Michael Polk for high jump and triple jump, and Nathaniel Taminga in the 3200. I'm Jay. And I'm Mariah. And Thank these you. are your morning outfits. <laughs> Hey guys, just wanted to remind you uh, about the money that we're raising for Mr. Milner and their family. Uh, I explained this to you guys in chapel yesterday, thanks to all of you who've already given money. Uh, we're collecting money for one more day today and then we're sending it out to Texas. Uh, if you haven't seen already, these boxes are around the canteen and there's also change boxes inside of each window. Um, it's a good cause, it's a great family. Um, it's to a great guy who really has, you know, just the back of every student on this campus. So uh, let's give some love back to him and uh, give something that folds. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Gardner. For only being a few years, there's been many changes to our school's technology. Since becoming an Apple certified school when we were in middle school and not knowing how to use Canvas or PowerSchool as freshmen, things have changed. We learned how to use our iPads and they've become an integral part of our educational experience. We interviewed both Mr. Parsons and Mr. Skurin discussing the possible changes that could be coming for our middle school students and high school students as we keep advancing the technology and ways we can use our iPads. I'm Cameron and I'm here with Mr. Skurin who has um, introduced the iPads to Valley. So since we've been using iPads for six years, how has the process been so far? Uh, it's been a really fun process. It's one that changes, it feels like, all the time. Um, as we're entering into our seventh year of going one-to-one -one with iPads, the process has simplified just incredibly. Um, I know we've now required the students to buy all their iPads through Valley, which just makes um, distributing all the apps, all the content to the students much, much easier. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. The technology has gotten lighter and faster. The abilities of the students has just gone through the roof. I know at the middle school in particular, we've seen just some really, really fun projects by our students with video production and, and telling their stories. Um, right now, I'm teaching a class on podcast production, and just we learn a whole bunch about our students through their storytelling and their sharing of their lives through it. And I see that as one of the things that the iPads has helped our students do. We started looking at whether or not to go with a one-to-one -one program in 2008. 
And then I believe it was in 2010 um, when the iPad was released. We're like, well, let's let's hold off and let's see what happens here. And so we spent a lot of time going to visit schools all over LA, even up north um, to Monta Vista, a Christian school up there that had been an early adopter. So we start off with iPads all the way down in um, preschool. I've got a, a, a four-year-old and he uses them just every once in a while to help with word recognition and stuff like that as they're being taught how to read at a very young age. And then in the elementary school, we have iPad carts for each of the grade levels. All students have iPads in grades seven through 12. Um, the way that they're implemented between grades seven and 12 is very similar. It all depends on the classroom. It's not something that's regulated that says you have to do A, B, or C with the device. Um, we just do our best to make sure all of the teachers are trained in how they can effectively um, use the device to um, just help students um, express themselves, learn how to tell their story, learn how to share their faith. That's a big one for us. And uh, just learn new ways of researching and seeing the world around them. Can you give us a little more detail about the Apple tree? Well, a lot of the changes that Apple has made with the iPad is the ability for schools to manage them a lot better. For example, we can actually install apps on the iPad remotely. And what that enables us to do now is build or develop an application where parents and students can go on to PowerSchool and select the apps that they want. We can use the Apple tree to sort of make a list of apps that are available and that have already been vetted and good for the students to use. Um, it gives parents a lot more uh, peace of mind knowing that the iPad uh, is sort of locked down a little bit more. Uh, we're not trying to restrict what students are able to do, but just give them a safer environment in which to do that. And since technology is always changing, will there be any changes in the future for Valley and the technology? We are always looking at that and looking at like what is, what is going to be the best approach for our students. Um, is there any future changes for the iPads within the middle school and high school? Um, the new system is actually the school is able to own the Apple ID while you're a student and then at the end of your term with Valley, whether you graduate or you transfer out, we're able to gift that to you. But what that means is we don't need a credit card. You don't ever have to worry about purchasing anything on it. The Apple ID is automatically set up. It's tied into your PowerSchool account. So it's going to be your first initial, last name, your graduation at vcschools.org, and then your PowerSchool password. And then all of a sudden, all of your apps are automatically installed. You've got iCloud automatically turned on. And, and just the whole management side of it is just greatly simplified. iPad, when you gave it to them, there would be all these steps you'd have to go through. Now it's what they call zero touch. It's like you type in your Valley ID and password and your iPad automatically is set up for you. All of the apps are already there. All of your textbooks are there for the middle school right now and we're trying to get this to the high school as well. Um, but just the, the whole interface has just been greatly simplified. So as teachers get better at using them, you'll see a lot more changes with the iPads. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of VCTV. I'm Marion Ledesma. Trevor Gilbreth here. And on behalf of the entire crew, have a fantastic day. Terrific? Where was I? Okay. It's a good town, huh? <laughs>